So let's talk about doing rosettes. Rosettes are optional. Originally, rosettes uh, reinforced the sound hole around the guitar. Nowadays, uh, they're completely decorative, the way most people are using them. There's different styles of rosettes. Today, we are going to do this rosette, so a pre-made solid wood one. Uh, this is fairly wide, uh, but a lot of other rosettes might be several pieces of plastic that you glue in together all at once, or you can get ones like this, but maybe not out of wood. Maybe they're out of different kinds of material. So what I did before doing it on my top was I did in a scrap piece of wood first. This probably took about 40 minutes to do, but now I feel comfortable that I know this is going to fit in here. And the sharpied out area on this is that's where the sound hole is gonna go. So when we do it on the real one, here is my sound hole in white color pencil, and then there's gonna be a ring of wood from the top, in this case, walnut, before the rosette exists. If you aren't doing a rosette and you just wanna do the sound hole, you can do it very similar to what we're doing. You can also just do a sound hole on the laser, which means you're not committed to absolutely having a round sound hole if you do it on the laser. So I have my center line on my top. This is the outside of my top that we are looking at. Center line and then the sound hole and then the center of the sound hole, uh, drill bit with the designated bit and now the pin. And now I'll take my Dremel and I put it on here and I've already set it up kind of eyeballed uh, with how far out it is from my center point and we're gonna swing around. Also, I've already determined the depth of this, which we can always go deeper. If you go too deep and you cut all the way through, that could cause us uh, some issues. So I'm going to turn the Dremel on and then plunge down in. And I like to hold back here and hold here and then just slowly spin it around. Pretty safe operation, but I want to stay away from down in there with my fingers where that bit is spinning. You could do this with a small router. That's how we're using the Dremel here. And now I've gone around and I've created that channel. Now, if it was just a single circular rosette, I might be done. But because it's a rather wide one, this is pass one of what will be about probably six passes till I get to out there. What I can do is I can take my rosette and kind of line it up on here and check to see my orientation of that inside circle. How does it look? Rosettes usually are split, which will get covered by your fretboard. So you can kind of open them up to see it looks like I'm still needed to come in a little. So before adjusting this all the way out, I'll bring it in just a little bit to save a little time. So I loosen this and now thread this to bring it in just a little. And now you keep repeating this process until you're done. We're really close to being done with our rosette in this uh, scenario. So you can see that we've, we've plowed out a lot of it. So we have our inner diameter set by checking this. But now that we're pretty close, there's my pencil line of where we think we're gonna finish. It's a good time to take off the Dremel and look at it. And what I'm looking at is I can see right up here I can, but where the split is, I can see my inside diameter and I can see how much is left. So I'm pushing the rosette in and I'm checking to see how much is left and maybe it's about 30 seconds. So this last pass, I'm not gonna go very far. I'm gonna take it back off, check it and keep doing that. That way I'm really dialed in and, it, and it's gonna be good to go. Since our last time looking at this, I did like two micro turns out and I think we're really close. I also altered the rosette by making this gap in the middle just a little bit wider, a little bit chipped out, not worried about because the fretboard's gonna cover this anyway. So I'm gonna start by pushing it in there and just slowly work my way around. You can almost hear it snapping in there. 
The depth of my channel that I cut is not quite as deep as this. That's good, the rosette's sitting up. But if we look, it has a nice snug fit. I don't see too much of a gap at all around the rosette. So now the rosette's done. My next step, change the Dremel. I'm gonna cut all the way through to cut our sound hole out using that same center pivot point. So everything's worked off that center and should look really good by the time we're done. Just finished the second pass. So I did two passes going down, which changes the height of this, which I can help you with. And now, pull that off. And now we are cut all the way through. And there's our sound hole. Cut out. We can clean this up with a little brace of paper, no problem. So now we have our sound hole and it's time to glue the rosette in and that's gonna look terrific.